Now, as inflation and supply chain issues continue to impact just about everything, a food pantry in Carlisle is still working to feed those in need. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz joins us live now from the food pantry with more on how they are making ends meet and being honored for their work. Good morning, Claire. Hey, good morning, Ashley. Yeah, I'm here with Tina Hillman. So tell me a little bit about the food pantry. Um, our food pantry is called Shelby's Pantry. Yeah, so show the shirt, show the shirt. Um, after my a late mother-in-law, Shelby Hillman, she was just an advocate for, for people and especially our church and giving. And um, we are located in Carlisle, Arkansas, and we are a town of about 2,400. We operate out of our church, Carlisle First United Methodist Church, and um, we serve about 100 families a month, which... Um, is, is you can double that so about 200 people a month we get about 10,000 pounds of food in and um, we also have what you don't see here we have uh, refrigerated and frozen foods that will go out to our clients as well and you guys serve mainly seniors correct why seniors we serve senior citizens because um, through the Arkansas Food Bank you cannot have two food pantries within two miles of each other and um, Emmanuel Baptist Church has a pantry for all ages and ours is 60 and up, and you have to live in Carlisle. Awesome. Well, in the next half hour, we'll talk even more about the food pantry, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks, Claire. As inflation and supply chain issues continue to impact just about everything, a food pantry in Carlisle is still working to feed those in need. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz is live from that food pantry with more on how they are making ends meet and also being honored for their work. Claire. Hey, good morning, Ashley. Yeah, I'm here back with Pastor Michael. Now, you told me that you guys serve about 100 families, 200 people. How have you guys kept it going through inflation, supply chain issues? The community. First, we get a lot of grants from organizations throughout the state, but the community, members of this church, as well as members of just about every church in this community are extremely generous when it comes time to feed people. Yeah, what can you say about the women that put in so much work to this food pantry? Uh, remarkable. Yeah, I know, they're, they're probably waiting for another word. No, <laughs> remarkable is the word, because when I got here in January 2001, this was running like a machine. It, it grew from, I think, like Tina said earlier, 14 families to now over 100 families. And, and it'll probably be bigger long after I'm gone. So they're the ones who keep it going. What can you say about community support? It's not just people here in the church. It's everybody. It is, and that's what the community is about. These, it, It's a small enough town. Everybody knows everybody. And I know sometimes they think, well, that's not always a good thing. But... They also know when someone's in trouble, and, and I think of everyone I've encountered in this town so far would literally give the shirt off their back in that moment if they knew somebody needed it. That is amazing. We'll keep talking about the amazing work here uh, in the next half hour, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks, Claire. As inflation and supply chain issues continue to impact just about everything, a food pantry in Carlisle is still working to feed those in need. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz joins us live now from that food pantry with more on how they are making ends meet and being honored for their work. Claire. Hey, good morning, Ashley. Yeah, I'm back with Tina. Now let's talk about the award that you guys are getting for the amazing work that you guys do. Oh, thank you. Uh, we're extremely excited. We received the first ever Rhonda Sanders uh, Award for advocacy and uh, being um, a, a good food pantry and standing. Rhonda is the CEO of the Arkansas Food Bank, but she's retiring. Mm -hmm. And so um, they chose to give it to uh, Shelby's Pantry this year. We're really excited. That is amazing. Now, let's just be real. No organization is anything without a great team. So we have to talk to what you call them, the food fairies? The food fairies, <laughs> yes. I love it. So why do you guys help out? Well, it's more of when you put the food in the car and you see the seniors' faces, it is such a blessing because they say, God bless you. And we're there to bless them, not to receive the blessing, you know. It's just, it's awesome just to see their faces, how appreciative they are. And it really touches my heart. And it does these ladies, too. It does yes. something for us serving them. Yes. Yeah, what about you? Well, it, you know, we're feeding them, and it just feeds my soul. I just, it, I, we, I just it, thoroughly enjoy it, just to see 
you know, their faces and, and how they appreciate what we're doing for them. That is amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for having me out this morning. I had so much fun with you guys. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks, Claire.